What's up, YouTube? Want to show the puffs? They looking good. Looking real good. This video here is gonna be my oh. Don't forget, I gotta get the dog shit. You know, I'm ahead of comments. People gonna see he, he got dog shit. Gotta get the little dog shit. <laughs> now this is gonna be the longest video I did so far. I'm thinking, cause um I wanna include on my channel something different. Not only just my um my dogs, but I'm gonna start adding it cause I I've been driving trucks for a few years now, and I decided to go ahead and buy me a truck. So I'm going to um, pretty much be adding that in there, showing you my trials and tribulations, my good, my bad, my ups, my downs, what I'm going through, you know, with me just starting out and being an owner operator, you know, starting a new business. This is not my first business, not my second, not my third. I didn't, I didn't have a few businesses. I didn't have a few online stores. I didn't have a, um, I didn't dealt with the, the auctions. I didn't have a couple of um, lots where I would buy cars, sell cars through the car auction. So... But this is gonna be different with the truck. It's a is a is a major major investment, and it can either you know bring me through the roof or knock me down. So I'm gonna bring y'all through through my whole process and let y'all see how it go. You know, so I'm gonna include those those videos of me buying. Well, video showing my truck. Let you take one one video take one go on this side. So I'm about to feed. Well, I fed the pups already. I want to say this too. I um this is my third litter of American bullies. And I have yet to see any worms come from any of my pups. I deworm them, but what I do do too is I did a video on months back where I showed you about the Dalmatians. Earth. I used this on the moms, so I think it translates to the pups. Because, like I said, I never had a problem with worms on the pups. So I'm about to go feed the big dogs. These pups I already ate. I'm about to go feed the big dogs. And then I'm going to show you a video of my truck at the end of this video. Stay tuned. All right, here we go. It's doing good. I got that, that straw. What a hay. Got the hay in there. Uh, I, um, I got some barrels cut up. They throw in there. But I got to get one more. It's doing, doing good, though. This dog here doesn't look like she had no pups about eight weeks ago. She didn't got back tight. Everybody doing good. Everything cool, aesthetic. Pups looking good. Hounds looking good. Just doing what I need to do to maintain. Now I'm gonna show y'all a little clip of my truck. For y'all that don't know about CDL and truck, man, it's a serious, serious business. Even as the company side where you don't own your truck. You know, you can easily make seventy to a hundred thousand as a company driver. You know, driving the truck, bringing the truck to the facility every day, not worrying about maintenance or nothing. But as an owner operator, it, it costs some serious money. You know, every little thing that breaks can be anywhere from four to ten to fifteen thousand dollars. But the reward of it is, you can make easily two hundred fifty, three hundred thousand a year after you clear taxes and everything. So. It's some good money out there. It's a big fucking dog. All right, uh, you two, I'm gonna show y'all the last little clip of the arm um, of my truck. I usually let them run out the whole day while I'm home, but I can't cause they just started going up under this fence, going on my neighbor's side. So I need to create a little barrier right here to keep them from going on my in my neighbor's yard. But she even broke the dam. She poured it from the bottom, yanked the clean out, and then they started going up under that hole. So now the air's got to be locked up <clears throat> to create some kind of barrier or something to keep it from on that side. Now this right here is the truck I was initially looking to purchase. It's a KW T800. I believe it's a 2009. It got the, see that yellow? That's the cat motor. In my opinion, the best motor you can get in the truck. We sell it on a price, cash price. Uh, real decent, real, real decent price, but when I got in the truck, I seen that the death light was on, which that don't mean nothing. 
because the dealer told me it was deleted. But it just scared me away. A lot of people, when they come down this trucking, a lot of their mishaps is because of the deaf system. So I didn't want to take that chance. So I left this truck alone. This truck only got 47,000 miles. That was another thing that scared me. The truck had so little miles. So that scared me away. Along with the death, I figured maybe it was broken for so many years. And that's why the miles are low. So I left it alone. Went to a bunch of other dealerships in the Houston area. And I seen that this guy's trucks is half the price of anybody else's trucks. Now, it's a smaller sleeper because I do chemicals. And when you're coming in inside those chemical plants, the smaller your truck, the more money you're gonna make. Cause some of these plants, you can't even fit a full size sleeper truck in there. So I was looking for something smaller. There's something with a mid roof that can get up under the pipes and stuff. Now this was a, like I said, I think it was 2009 or 2008 KW. Like I said, pretty decent truck, low miles. This guy has a bunch of trucks. I mean, hella five prices, real, real good prices. But this the one I settled on. Same truck, same model, different year. This is a newer truck. This is a um, 08, 08 Caterpillar. Had 90, 90 some thousand miles, which is damn good miles. I would see the phone call, so I had to cut it off. Here we go again, all right. So, as you can see, this motor is red. That lets you know one thing, it's a Cummins. In my opinion, Cummins makes the second best motor. Clean truck, man, real clean truck. Clean frame. Tires are awesome tires, they're not dry rotted. Got the high fifth wheel. The high fifth wheel just mean that it's able to pour tankers and chemicals. It's higher. The fifth wheel that's flush on the frame is for um, driving, which is the big old box trailers. It's a nice truck. <clears throat> you can see the miles. 96,000 miles. Now, like I said, it's a smaller truck. Little bed back there. Pretty clean though. Pretty clean the truck. Hopefully I can make me some good money with this truck. Oh man. Something else I want to touch bases on with these damn trucks. Kind of slipped my mind. I was looking at this Peterbilt too. You got this white and blue Peterbilt. It got the caterpillar. Oh, I know what I want to talk about. All right. The difference from a caterpillar motor, which is the yellow motors, and the Cummins motors, the red motors. Of course, price. Caterpillar costs two and three times more to fix. So if some break on this here Cummins motor I got, it might cost me 800 bucks. On that caterpillar, it's going to cost me over two grand. The same thing, the same thing. Caterpillar motors is like the Cadillac. Plain and simple, but they last longer. You can get a caterpillar motor, and I know guys right now that's running their motors with 1.5, 1.7 million miles on the exact same motor. Over a million miles on these Cummins motors, the one I got, you're not getting that many miles. You know, you might get lucky and hit a million. You might get lucky and hit a million, but that's with a lot, a lot of maintenance and taking care of it. The caterpillar motor, they pretty much handle themselves. They're real tough and durable. So one reason I wanted to choose this motor is because of the cost it takes to, re the, um, to repair if someone's to break. Like so I'm just starting off and I want to keep my cost as low as possible. Another reason I chose that this motor and not the Caterpillar motor is because fuel mileage. With this motor, if I'm driving real good, I can get seven gallons to the mile. With that Caterpillar, you're getting four, maybe five. So I'm gonna be spending more money running my loads with that cat. Now the cat is stronger. You hit them hills and you're gonna get it with it. But I don't plan on hitting no hills. I plan on doing reasonable. Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi. So I think this is gonna serve the purpose. And I got to put the chrome bump on here, make it a little, little more stylish. I'm gonna get all this polished up, get it real nice. Up here where they got the little red insert, I'm gonna get the chrome the chrome strip on the front of it 
I'm gonna have it nice when I'm finished with it. So y'all just get used to seeing some more videos. And I got him to cut down the tailpipe. The tailpipe was high as hell. I got him to cut it down some. I'm gonna add dual, the dual tailpipes on it. So, what exhaust pipes? Tail is the back of it. The exhaust pipes. I'm gonna have that one. I'm gonna give it, add another one on this side. Give me that old school trucker feel. Like I said, I'm gonna bring y'all along with my journey. This is just the first step. Let y'all come and see the, the trials and tribulations. And let me tell you this thing before I get off here. The benefit of coming to a dealer like this is you get the truck for half the price, plain and simple. This truck, anywhere else, I would have paid sixty to seventy thousand. Over here, thirty. Cash money, you know. Even at the big time dealers, I went there and talked to them. And I had my cash money and stuff, and I couldn't find nothing. Like for thirty thousand at a big time dealer, all those trucks had 600,000 miles, and it was like. Um, Volvos and freight lines, which I like freight lines. I don't know about Volvo. And they had some pad cars. I don't know about pad cars. I heard bad shit about it. I'm not dealing with pad car. So I wanted to go with either the the DD series motor, which is um the freight liner. I wanted to go with the Cummins or maybe the cat. You know, that's it. So like I said, I'm gonna keep y'all posted on my journey with this shit truck. The next video might be who I'm gonna put it on with. So I, I need to do my research now and see what company I'm gonna put the truck on with to make the most bang for my buck and still go home, you know? I'm gonna do regional and local. So if I leave out, I might be going out for a day, maybe two days max and come right back home. I'm not trying to be gone for the weeks at a time. And by me being on the operator, it's my truck so I can take the loads if I want. If I don't, I leave the loads where they at. All right, y'all, catch y'all on the next go around.